Hi guys! Okay, so today I have my beauty favorites of 2014. I have about six or seven products I think that I want to show you. A couple for your face, body, makeup, nails, whatever. So anyway, yeah, let's get started. So the first product I have is actually a hair product. It's this Suave Kids Detangling Spray. This is awesome. I've been using this for a really long time, definitely over a year. I want to say a couple years. My hair is curly, obviously, so it gets really snarly and tangled at n from night to morning. And so when I redo my hair in the morning, it, you can't even get a brush through it. So this is really awesome. It helps a lot, and it smells really good. This one's in the scent Apple. They have a couple other ones. You can get this at the drugstore. Um, I think they have strawberry, watermelon. I get whatever one they have. It doesn't really matter to me. They all smell good. And even though it's for kids, it works really well. It's not a harsh product. It's easy on your hair. And it's hypoallergenic, which is really nice. And I just really like it. I It's only like 2 or $3, I want to say. And they also have like the big refill bottle, which I should probably invest in since I get it so often. But I just haven't. Because sometimes I do like to switch up the scent. So, like I said, it's a couple bucks. It's super cheap and you can find it everywhere and it's really it's really nice it gets all the tangles out and it's just awesome so definitely one of my favorite products of 2014 probably from like 2013 to 14 so really awesome I'm gonna continue to use this in 2015 so I totally recommend it the next product I'm going to show you is something you're gonna see featured probably a lot and probably have seen in a lot of my past videos from years ago it is this Maybelline Line Stiletto Eyeliner, and it's just so awesome. I swear by this eyeliner. I try, have tried a ton of different eyeliner, liquid eyeliners, and I just, I haven't loved one the way I love this one. I've been using this for years upon years upon years, ever since I started doing, um, like, a winged eyeliner. It just has a really nice um, brush or applicator, whatever you want to call it. It's not too pointy and it's not too thick. It's just the right, it's just the right size. I can just do my winged liner really thick or really thin, depending on what I want. It's just really awesome. So Maybelline Liquid Lion Stiletto Eyeliner is awesome. Okay, next I have this body lotion that my boyfriend actually introduced me to. It's this Vaseline Intensive Care Cocoa, Cocoa Radiant. Yeah, with pure cocoa butter. It's really awesome. I um, used to use just like uh, scented body lotions that had like shimmer or sparkle, stuff like that in it, which are still awesome, but I like to preserve those for when I'm like going out or something like that, not just for everyday use, because sometimes I just want something that's really moisturizing, and a lot of the times the ones that smell really good aren't as moisturizing to last you through a whole day because they contain like fragrances and things like that with like alcohol so um, those dry out a little bit faster which brings me to why I like this I, also it, when I put this on after I take a shower and I have shaved it doesn't sting my legs because I don't think there's alcohol in here um, yeah so which is usually why that happens so I really like this. It just keeps me moisturized all day long, and my skin is really dry, so I love this, especially now in the winter. So definitely one of my favorites for 2014 that I will continue to be using. Continued? Will be continuing to use. Okay. Next, I have a perfume. This is by um, Burberry. It's called Burberry Brit, I believe. This is my second bottle. I discovered this, when did I discover this? I want to say like summer of 2014. It came into my job and I got it really cheap and it smells so good. And it's really not a summer scent, it's more of a fall winter because it's kind of strong and I can't really describe what it smells like. It just smells, it's almost like a cologne, like a, a men's cologne, which I, I love men cologne. Which I think is why I really like this one. I wish I was a guy so I could wear cologne. But anyway, so I went through a little bit of a bottle and then gave it to my friend because she really liked it. And then I got another one because I couldn't live without this. It's so awesome. I use it all the time now. And the only reason that much of it is gone is because I have a million other fragrances that I use. So this will last me a while. 
All right, couple more products. So next I have a nail product and this is the Nail Tech 2. And I want to say you can get this at like a drugstore like Wegmans. I know it's it says not for resale on here cuz it's from a salon. My boss gave it to me. And but I have definitely seen it in Wegmans at at least Wegmans for sure, near like Essie nail products and stuff like that. But this is really awesome. I used to deal with like my nails were always peeling, always chipping and breaking, and then I started getting gel nails and that stopped a little bit. Like they wouldn't break when they had the gel on them. But after that, when I took the gel off, they would be a lot, um, they would be weaker. So I would use this and I still use this. So this you can put on before you do your nails. It's just a clear coat or you can put it on when your nails are already painted. I suggest doing it only like once a week because any more than that it's a little too strong and your nails will actually have the adverse effect and start peeling. So once a week is all you need. This will keep your nails strong and healthy looking. Oh my gosh. Strong and healthy looking. And my nails are pretty long. Except for my pinky that I accidentally broke the other day. And that's the first time that's happened in months and I'm still mad about it. But anyway, this is really awesome. Okay, two more products that are from the same brand that I just realized. I guess I'm obsessed with Clean and Clear now. First, I have the Clean and Clear Advantage Acne Control Moisturizer. Looks like this. I think they have another version of this that's not acne control. I'm not really sure. But it comes in like a white bottle. That one is really good as well. I'm just really used to this one. Ignore my fire detector that keeps beeping. It's actually... It's not battery controlled, so the batteries aren't even dying. It's electric, so it's really annoying, and I got a call management of my apartment to get them here. But anyway, maintenance, I mean. So regardless of that, um, this Clean and Clear Advantage face moisturizer is so awesome. I use it morning and night. Really great. Been using it for more than a year, but I wanted to include it in my 2014 favorites just because I'm still using it, and I still love it. They also have a generic brand of this at the drugstores, which I use too when I don't want to spend the extra dollar or two on this, and they work just as well. So definitely recommend this. And then last, I have this Clean and Clear Deep Action Exfoliating Scrub that is empty. Um, there's probably a couple more squirts in here. This is probably my fifth bottle, probably more than that, this year. And I do have a full one here just to show that I do repurchase it. I am obsessed with it. I used to use Clean and Clear, a different one, an orange one, that didn't have the exfoliating beads, and I still loved it, but this with the beads gets all the gunk and makeup out of my face, and I love it. Um, I use it only in the morning because it's a little... My, I have really dry skin, so I don't want to exfoliate um, day and night like that, so I use it... Um, did I say I use it in the morning? I meant to use it at night when I take off my makeup. In the morning, I use a, um, a face pad. But anyway, so I really love that. I've bought it a million times. My boyfriend uses it too, so it's really great. I just discovered when I was picking out my products for this video that I actually really like Clean and Clear now. I used to be obsessed with Neutrogena, but their face wipes have totally disappointed me in the past couple months. And the Clean and Clear wipes that I just got a couple weeks ago are freaking awesome. I didn't include them in this video just because I haven't used it long enough and I want to have a good idea on how I really feel about them. But yeah, regardless of that, that is the end of my video. I hope I didn't keep you too long. My throat hurts so I think I'm talking too much. So I'm going to go. Thank you for watching. Thanks to all my new subscribers. I found some really awesome channels. And yeah, comment down below what you think. Um, how you feel about some of these products or any products you think I should try. And I'll put links to everything down below, all my social media. So keep in contact with me and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!